Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment in time? Just want to come on here and talk to y'all for a little moment. But before we get off to that, let's get off to a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us, God, as God has protected us throughout this day. Lead us throughout this day, Father God, show us the way. And I pray, Father God, you come to me at this moment in time in order to get a few pass to the truth. And I pray, Father God, thank you for this month. And I pray, Father God, to let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time in order to get a few pass to the truth. And I thank you for this in my prayer, Father God. Amen. Now, this is the thing what I want to talk to y'all about. <clears throat> this is how um, how there will be famine because the inflation that the uh, wicked government um, keep doing over the earth, that they keep trying to take prices and all these things up, right? These things that they keep doing over the um, over the people. See, this is why I be trying to tell y'all about the uh, the the slogan: "The rich stay and the poor stay." But the thing is, they say that that's their slogan. But when in actual reality, it's not true. Do you understand? That's why I tell you about um, stop believing everything you hear and question everything. You hear me? I'm going to say this again. Stop believing in everything you hear and question everything. I don't care what nobody say about me. Do you understand? I have been through so many types of things. It, 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 listen. I've been through uh, all types of other things. So now, my life has to progress into good. And I speak it, I've spoken it, and I prophesy, I declare, and I decree, and on the sound of my voice, and on the sound of my voice, I command and I demand all over the planet. And I pray and I promise that Father God, you declare and that you decree and that you command and that you speak and that you spoken, Father God, abundance, love, life, uh, peace, joy, happiness, um, um, prosperity of my life in the spirit realm, astro realm, and in this realm. And over the saints, the body of Christ, the hundred four four thousand, the children of God, the people of God, the people of the planet, the poor people of the planet, the chosen ones, all their family, and all their kids, over me and my kids, over the people of the earth and their kids, over the whole entire planet, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit realm, the kingdom of heaven, up in this realm, the earth and the spirit realm, the earth and this realm, the universe and the spirit realm, the universe and this realm, and even the national realm. I pray and I prophesy, I declare, and I decree, and on the sound of my voice, I command, and I demand it all over the planet. Now, listen to me. <clears throat> and these ones are the causing of these things. Your false America, <laughs> because they're so, so false. I don't know, y'all can y'all see it yet? Can you see it now? Is it coming clear to you yet? Is it coming clear to you yet that the ones that you are dealing with are so are uh, legalized? Legalized organized games. <laughs> Game. Basically, they are legalized organized crooks. I'm just giving it to you because I know what they are. They are legalized organized crooks. Do you understand? They're nothing less, they're nothing more. I know what they are. You understand? I see them for what they are. I can see them. Ain't no, uh, oh, well, he just, no, I don't, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. Ain't no if, if he's in it or if he's high in it. No, he's around him all the time. He is in it. Stop trying to play that little game. He's not in there. He's He's not part of the... I don't want to hear that. That person is around these ones all the time. Every day. Stop doing that. Stop it. 
Stop trying to trick yourself. Oh, he, he can't be a... Stop this. Stop this. That is a legal, organized crook in a suit. He's a crook. He's the one that's stealing your money. <laughs> Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? He's the one that's lying on you. Are you listening? He's the one that's taking up the 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 uh, the, uh, the uh, higher prices on the foods. Are you listening? They right there in front of you. How can you not see? Ain't no way you can not see this. Stop trying to play like you don't have no senses. People tend to try and look away from the truth. Stop doing that. Stop doing it. Because of you thinking that someone is something and really in actual reality, they're, they're, they're below level in the spirit realm. They're no one in the spirit realm. I want you to know this. They don't have the things which you think that they have <laughs> in the spirit realm. They're not who they say they are. They're not who they look who they are in the spirit realm. Okay. I want y'all to understand this now. <clears throat> You're going to have to go to God to understand these types of things. Do you hear me? You're going to have to go to God to understand these types of things. There's no way. There's no other way. You're going to have to come to Jesus. You understand? To understand. All y'all got to do is ask. And you shall receive. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. Go to prayer. Ask God, hey, what, what do I need to know about this situation? What do I need to know about this person? What do I need to know about this thing? He would give it to you. I'm trying to tell you, it's right there at your, at your door. It's right there. All you got to do is open up the door. Like I said, asking you shall see, you shall receive. Knock on the door. Seeking you shall find. Knock on the door and the door shall be open to you. That's what that means. You'll never know until you ask him. You'll never know until you uh, go to prayer. <laughs> is that understandable? Okay. <clears throat> you want to know something? Go to God and ask him if you want to really actually know. You want to know something way beyond your comprehension. Ask, on, ask someone who's sitting up high that's looking down low that can see these types of things. All right. So anyways... These inflations will cause famine in the land. Do you understand? And you got your so-called Great America. Let's make America great again. Great America to blame for this. Do you understand? Okay. We're tired of America. She's done enough. Her time is up. America time is up. Do you understand? And I pray and I prophesy, declare, and I decree, and on the sound of my voice, I command and I demand it all over the planet. People keep thinking that they can... Uh, Get away from the Lord's judgment. The Lord's uh, words and things like this here. They think that they can stop certain things. What is wrong with these humans? What is wrong with these other things? 
You can't stop what God has. What's going on now is going to be an overload. Which meaning, and they tried to, uh, the things that they tried to block from the people of God, the saints, the body of Christ, the 144,000, the children of God, the people of God, the people of the planet, the poor people of the planet, the chosen ones, all their family members, all their kids, over me and my kids, and over the people of the earth and their kids. Abundance, love, peace, joy, happiness will flow to you. And I pray and I prophesy, declare and I decree and on the sound of my voice I command it, even prosperity. And I am not a prosperity teacher or preacher or none of those things. But I do this to help the people. Do you understand? But the, the things that I speak of shall come. If some people would try to get out of the way because they keep trying to uh, do this and do that and trying to have control over the Lord's. You can't have no control. You don't have control. You things. Listen, let me leave that alone. Abundance, prosperity, love, peace, joy, happiness will come to the ones that I've spoken of. The saints, the body of Christ, the humble, 144,000, the children of God, the people of God, the people of the planet, the poor people of the planet, the chosen ones, all their family members, all their kids, over me and my kids, and over the people of the earth and their kids, over the whole entire planet. And I pray and I prophesy, declare and I decree, and on the sound of my voice, I command <clears throat> And that is the order, Father God. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that you declare and that you decree and that you command and that you speak and that you spoken, Father God. Over them as well, Father God, abundance, love, peace, joy, happiness, financial prosperity, um, their talents, their gifts, and all things that you want, and all things that you want to bestow upon them, and upon me as well, Father God, over the whole entire planet. I pray and I prophesy, declare, and I decree, and on the sound of what's commanded. While they're going through famine, listen to me. The people of God and the people of the earth. While the wicked ones are going through famine, the people of the earth will be blessed. The ones that they keep trying to get in the way of God's people and the people of the earth will be blessed all over the planet while the wicked go through famine. And I pray and I prophesy, I declare and I decree, and on the sound of my voice, I command and I demand it all over the planet. For I speak, I have spoken it, and it is done. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that you declare and that you decree and that you command and that you speak and that you spoken it, Father God, all over the planet. And that is in order. And I command and I demand it, Father God. I prophesy. And I pray that y'all take the message to the Lord Jesus Christ the moment time, getting to some fast and praying, some reading your word, build a relationship with the Lord, communion with the Lord, and uh, this is God's good news for you that y'all be blessed. Amen.